Did you know they have a new Gladius machete? Check that out. Yeah, where did this come from? There have been some end of summer sales which I took advantage of. Picked up some new items and an old favorite that I had never gotten around to getting. Check this out first. These are cold steel throwing spikes. Comes with this case. I did not buy these uh, for their intended purpose, I must say, but there's the spikes. You get two larger ones, two smaller ones. Yeah, look at that. And the smaller one, oh, it's a little stinger. I actually bought these because I felt people would be interested in them as self-defense spikes. I don't need any throwing spikes. I just make my own throwing spikes, actually. This is one of mine. Now, as you can see, my throwing spikes are longer, they're heavier, and they're just, uh, I find these more fun to throw, right? Because they've got some weight to them. So I make these from landscaping nails. So I didn't really need any throwing spikes, but like I said, with everybody thinking of self-defense these days, this is light, easy to carry, and this would definitely cause someone to rethink their bad decisions in attacking you. Yeah, this is kind of an anti-grappling, anti-assault item. Now, this next knife, I've been meaning to get one of these for a very long time, and I just had never gotten around to it. It is the XL size tie light, which features a 6-inch long blade. Right, so the tie light XL, that is the, the largest the largest size of tie light. There's a flyby for you, and it just gives you an extreme amount of reach. Gives you an extreme amount of reach to do what you may need to do out there. This is a this is a big, big folding knife. It's a liner lock with a folded over liner there. Now this is modeled after the uh, world famous Italian stilettos. Now this particular model is OS 8A. However, they do have them in better steels for a higher price, but I figured I didn't need, definitely don't need a super steel for the intended purpose of this, which is, of course, uh, when diplomacy fails. Look how much of it sticks out. You can uh, persuade someone in various ways, you know, hammer fists and so forth. But, you know, someone asked, do you have small hands or are the knives just huge? Uh, actually, I have large hands. Um, most of my cold steel folders are just huge, is, is the, uh, the answer to that. Yeah, look at that. Did you know they have a new Gladius machete? Check that out. Yeah, where did this come from? It's new. Okay, but they actually, they call this their throwing sword. Online, they called it their throwing sword, but then look at the package. It just says Gladius sword on it Right, so this might be listed as Gladius sword or it might be listed as throwing sword When you go to try to look it up and buy it. So what which do I think it is? Well, I, I think it's a Gladius But see they already had a Gladius. I, I think that's a the thing. They didn't want it to get confused with their other one Okay, here's their original one that has been around forever. Let's compare them. Okay, so this is the original one, and this is the new one. All right, so, yeah, about the same length, but the original one has a longer handle. See, the handles are different. You see that? But, yeah, this is pretty cool, definitely. Now here are the stats on that Gladius, 420 stainless, that's <laughs> not so good, but all right, so those are all the stats. It doesn't feel especially sharp, not especially sharp, but you can sharpen it. It is very pointed though. Okay, so this is not that sharp, but it doesn't have to be sharp to cut one of these, so let's just take it for a spin, shall we? There you go. Now let's just have a little fun with the new Gladius.
in the thrust. There you go. And one more, back and forth. There you go. There you go. All right, so it is sharp enough to cut one bottle, but you, you saw I had to take, you know, considerable technique to do the one bottle. All right, two. Two. Now, this isn't that sharp, but I think if we put a little magic on them, we can do two, okay? There you go. Now, can you see that? Let me show you. There you go. So how did I do that? Well, I made sure to cut with the very end there, right? That's a bit easier more power. All right, cold steel tie light doesn't want to be left out of the fun. All right, I'll just do one bottle with this. All kind of noise, doesn't matter. There you go. Cheers to you. All right, I lied, let's try two. Let's try two, let's cut them low. Adios, there you go. You see those? I'll show you. Two ashtrays for you. I'm liking the tie light already. Okay, my final thoughts on my initial thoughts on these new cold steel items. Well, I'm glad that I finally picked up the tie light and it was around $50. So I think it's a I think it's a bargain when it's on sale and I can certainly find the uses for that. Now regarding the throwing spikes, I prefer heavier throwing spikes, but like I said, that's not that's not their best use in my opinion. I think if you um, you want a self-defense spike and you don't want to just go buy an all from the hardware store, then they're pretty cool. And as for the Gladius, well, you know, made in China and <laughs> The 420 stainless, but it's still going to bring a smile to your face, you know what I'm saying? And it came moderately sharp. As far as uh, them calling it a throwing sword, I would, that, that's going to be news to the Romans. No, just kidding. I probably will try to throw it just because they, they said that I could. But it's good as just a fun item. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it depends on the price. But in general, I mean, it's in the spirit of the in the spirit at least of the old uh, cold steel designs you know coolness factor 10 out of 10. okay so if you want any of these links will be in the description some of these are not on amazon yet but as they come onto it i will try to update those links hope you enjoyed the video if you like stuff like this feel free to subscribe